All right guys, so today we're doing a review of a Vietnam War sleeping bag. This is a United States Air Force. This is a basically a seat bottom of an airplane. And it says right here, sleeping bag container, parachute bailout, SRU-15-P is the model number of it. And uh, this one was made by Stabeco Industries Incorporated. City's gone, but it says USA on the bottom. It should be a very interesting, here it has a little picture of a guy in it. It should be a very interesting one to do. So on the back, it looks like that. Uh, this is a down sleeping bag. This is not an Arctic one though. So let's go ahead and open it up. The instructions are, remove wing nut and take off a tab. And grass tab each end of section a filament, it's so hard to read because it's kind of broken up. Filament tape by peeling grass. Let's start this first. Looks like a pop up hit me right in the freaking forehead. They don't have me a, a straight screwdriver over there behind. Never mind, I got it. So there's that. So it says peel the tabs at each end. Is this even the tab we're peeling? I'm read it one more time. Tape, a peeling grass look and sealing tape, which is under the wing nut. Okay. Okay. the dust coming off the thing. I'm gonna be super careful not to cut into the sleeping bag. <laughs> I think the tape's probably about 50 years too old. Could you got this open back in the day with no knife? Well, I don't know. Maybe. It'd have to be pretty fresh, that's for sure. All right. Smash my thumb into it. Cut towards myself. You guys taught me that. Oh, oh. I'm getting somewhere. Careful, it is a fiberglass tray, so be careful how we grab it. Well, it's in like a very pliable bag. We're gonna sweep the floor again for we can put this down and try it out. So here we go. 
We've got a pull string. And we've got a string tying it together. So the biggest question is going to be, does it stink? It smells like nothing at all. Now remember, it was vacuum packed. Now hand me that razor knife back over here. We'll have to cut the string. We might be able to untie that eventually. But so the video wasn't nine hours long. Clip that off for me real quick. Okay. We're gonna roll it. Now as kids, we had some sleeping bags like this. It's like pristine. And uh, my sister's standing back there. I think the ones we have are Arctic ones though, but they, just, they have like a stank to them. Remember that? They're really, really, really thick. And uh, if you try to use them, you're just like instantly sweating. That's horrible. So you're supposed to shake it, fluff it all up. So this one does not have a zipper. This one does not have a zipper. Interesting. So we're gonna do here, I think it said they've been laying on the shop floor here, because it's probably not the cleanest. We're gonna do the old. It's definitely like a mummy bag. Then it has like a has the dirty old hood on it. And that's how it looks. Yeah. It smells a little bit like chemicals, but no, uh, nothing at all. But it's the first one I've ever seen has no zipper. And it does have a drawstring, the piece of cardboard on it. Must have been low budget, these must have. And would it keep you warm? I guess it would if you, if you stood here and fluffed it up enough and got it all lined out. Um, would it keep you from dying? Yeah, probably. It does have a white inside, so I guess you could flip it around if you're in snow. But then it has a stamp here. It says, Sleeping Bag Air Crew Survival. MC1, maybe it's kind of rubbed off a little bit. Barclay Home Products Incorporated, USA. And that's pretty much all it says. It has number three on it. So, it's about as thick as like uh, like one of those coats you buy nowadays. I have one, I can't remember what the name it was, Columbia or North Face, where it has like the lines of, of uh, goose down in it. I have like a thinner jacket type material. It's about that thick. And the ones I remember that were Arctic ones, they were like a real heavy down coat, like, you know, like that. And, but overall a very neat item. There's not a lot of these around anymore. Uh, there's a few here and there on eBay. I don't remember what we paid for this. I want to say 50 or 60 bucks. But by buying that, I thought it'd be cool to have it around anyway for that kind of money. It'd be cool to show you guys. And we have a tag here that says Lot Final WT Unfilled Weight Unfilled Weight Filled. Oh, then it has the weight. It has 13 and 3 quarter 03. And five and three quarter oh three, so I guess that's the weight of the down. Perhaps I don't know. I mean, I'm not a clearly I'm not a seamstress, right? But that's it. That's gonna be all for the Vietnam era sleeping bag from the United States Air Force. Yeah, that's it. We'll see y'all Monday. Today's Friday. We'll see y'all Monday with another ration review.